Welcome to the Core Editor. In this video, we will show you the essential features of the Core Editor so that you can access all the tools you need to create high quality online games. Creating a new project. To access the Core Editor, open the Create tab in the Core main menu. Here, you should find all your locally saved projects. There are three options for ways to start a new project. Core Game Frameworks contain the scenery and scripts for a complete game. Community shared games are open source projects by other core creators. An empty project starts with just the minimal game environment. Title your project and press enter. Editor windows. The editor is made up of several windows controlling different game creation tools. They can be resized, moved, and closed according to how you want to lay out your workspace. All of the windows of the core editor can be found in the view menu. They can be opened or selected through this menu. You can return to the original layout at any time as well by selecting reset view to default. Main viewport. The main viewport is where you will see your project as it appears in the editor, changing the view. There are several ways to move a view while you're editing a project. Scroll to move closer and further away. The right button allows you to change the direction the viewport is facing. While holding the right mouse button, you can use the W, A, S, and D keys to move position. Preview mode. Preview mode will allow you to explore your game from a player perspective. You can start the preview using the play button or by pressing the equal sign key. Players can move with the W, A, S, and D keys, jump with the spacebar, crouch with C, and use the G key to ride on a mount. Because Core is optimized for multiplayer experiences, the multiplayer preview mode is the most accurate way to gauge the way your game works. Press the multiplayer icon to activate multiplayer preview mode. You can select up to four players. Core will open a separate window for each player. Currently, there is only one spawn point in the project, so players will all spawn in the same location. Hierarchy. The hierarchy lists all the objects that are currently in the scene. From this window, you can select objects. The properties tab shows different editable attributes for the selected object. The hierarchy allows you to change which objects are visible using the visibility icon. The default sky includes several components, which are the light sources of the project. By hiding one, we can analyze the light it provides. To nest one object inside of another, drag it over the object that should be its parent. Groups can be opened to show their contents or closed to only show the parent. You can create a group by right-clicking the hierarchy and selecting New Group. This allows you to combine objects with a similar purpose. Content. There are three windows that can be used as sources of content for your project. The project content window shows objects that have been added to your project. Core content. The core content window holds all of the resources to build a project. The art objects holds objects, sounds, and textures. Objects from this menu can be added by dragging them into the main viewport or the hierarchy. The search allows you to find objects by name. Materials are textures that can be added to objects to change their visual appearance. Materials can be clicked and dragged to the object you want to apply them to. The community content window allows you to access resources made by other core creators. To begin, you can see the most highly rated content or search for a specific resource. Community content can be added to your project by pressing the import button here, or open the resource for more details, and click the plus icon to add it to your project. Imported content will now appear in the core content tab inside of imported content. From here, you can click and drag objects into the scene and they will appear in the hierarchy. Imported content will also appear in your project content. Manipulating objects. 
objects in the scene can be changed in the main viewport. Click on an object or select it in the hierarchy. You can press the F key to focus the view on the currently selected object. When moving the view, hold the Alt key to orbit around the object. With an object selected, use right-click to open a menu. That will allow you to view the object from different perspectives. The toolbar contains the different options for manipulating objects. Objects can be moved by selecting the Translation tool in the top toolbar or by pressing W. With this selected, click and drag any of the arrows to move the object along the respective axis. With the Translation tool selected, you can also select Snap to Grid to move the object in specific increments, in this case 100. The Rotation tool will allow you to move the object around three different axes. With the Rotation tool selected, you can select Snap to Grid to rotate in specific increments. The Scale tool will allow you to change an object's size. Select any of the arms to scale directionally, or select the center box to scale proportionately. Scripting in Core is not required to create a game. However, scripts can enhance your game's capabilities. Programming in Core is written in Lua language using the Core API. For more information on programming in Core, view our documentation online at docs.coregames.com. You can easily add a script to your project by clicking the Create Script button. The script generator contains some pre-written code for select common use scenarios. The Ability script, for example, will allow you to define an ability. To create an empty script, select Create Script and Create New Script. The script will appear in Project Content and can be added to your hierarchy by dragging and dropping. Double-clicking the script will open it in the Script Editor. The event log can be found in the View menu and allows you to check for errors in the scripts you've created. The Core Editor has an auto-save feature. However, it is always best practice to save your project and back up your work whenever convenient. Selecting File and then Save will save all current objects as part of the scene. Selecting Save All will also save changes to Lua scripts. Thank you for viewing our introduction to the Core Editor. Please view our channel's other videos and tutorials, and tune in to Core Live to interact with developers and the community. Details are in the description below. Make sure to drop us a line in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for creating in Core. See you next time.